Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for your general reading um, for today. If you are having a birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy anniversary as well. Anybody who is celebrating anything, I hope it's fantastic for you. If you're down and out, I send you love and light. If you're returning to this channel, thank you guys for being a part of this channel and growing with me. I appreciate it so very much. Um, if you are new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. My channel is very intense. We look at a lot of real heavy energy here, and we uproot it. I'm not churchy. I'm not religious. I don't have any types of just churchy mindsets. I'm free in the truth, and I seek the spirit of truth, um, and uh, I do use scripture on my channel it is honored here because it's found in the tarot um but i just weigh out everything truthfully listen to the spirit of truth and what i hear my father in heaven say i do that and uh, his um scripture is life to us i keep all 10 of the commandments i'm not ashamed of Jehovah elohim maker of heaven and earth people just call him the universe he's everything and just like i always say he's got many names about him because he is everything and I kiss his begotten son that walked among us in the flesh, uh, whose name was Ye Yeshua. And Yehovah is also Yeshua, which means salvation. Uh, outside of Yehovah, there is no salvation for us. Um, so anyway, but this is kind of who I am on my channel. So um, just buckle up because like I said, we just, we look at prophecy. We look at criminal activity. We look at anything that Yehovah wants to bring out. So uh, there could be some shocking things that maybe, you know, just intuitively have been going on on the inside of you and you hear something or see something that could possibly end up a certain way to go down a certain road that, that Jehovah's bringing out and just exposing. Some things are uh, being exposed that have happened way back in past uh, times that possibly when you grew up, it's time to come up and, and to bring the thing up so that you can evaluate it and transmute some energy or, you know, so people will be taking this energy in so many different directions and, you know, everybody's in different types of, uh, um, energy emotionally physically spiritually so you know just take the pieces obviously that are resonating with you um and just do with it as you need to but um anyway if you stay great if you don't thanks for checking me out all right i get tired of the intro <laughs> Anyway, you all come on in here and just tell us what you want to for any given person that you know is going to click up on this video. What is the most important thing that we need to know? Show me the last 24 hours, the now, and the next 24 hours, and then confirm everything that you bring out here and uh, help give us a direction in which way we need to go. And I just thank you. You hope it just rebuke every foul, wicked, dark energy and shove it down to the pit. But to expose everything that needs to be uh, brought up so that it can be dealt with, you hope. I just thank you. Order our steps today by your word of life. Just thank you. What do you want to bring out here? There is a stubbornness today. I did another reading and I ended up deleting it. But um, there is warring going on. But there's also a victory that's uh, going on as well. So we got four. I'll take the bottom one for the overall energy is having some type of an awakening is here. Okay. So the last 24 hours we had some type of a idea that was connected to somebody's imagination um, being creative and um some type of uh, nature for some people uh, connected with whatever uh, the imagination was about. Somebody's obviously sitting here, they're meditating on something for the overall energy and getting some type of an awakening to either something that's already taken place or um, some type of idea that went down within some matter. In the now, we have finances that are here and in the next 24 hours there's some type of sacred power from within it only comes from Jehovah the spirit of truth but um, being encouraged to take some type of a leading role and um, tapping into that type of power and um, doing something within your current situation so somebody's got some type of an awakening to something that's surrounding finances or something that will be financially positive for you, then that's great. This is honoring to give thanks for a blessing that is about to be received in some type of a way as well. Okay? So we have spiritual healing at the bottom. I'm not going to take that card, but I just wanted to take a look at it. So some type of a healing is here, an awakening, um, some type of an idea surrounding money finances and needing to take a leading role is also here. 
what's this an awakening about you? Hold on. What further information? So if you are new, I, I, I just allow the spirit to speak expressively. I also, you know, take whatever is coming intuitively and by what I'm seeing or hearing on the inside. I won't just take the cards just for what they say. Um, some people are, are, you know, dealing with all kinds of, like I said, different types of energies and it, it'll flow all kinds of different ways. So some people are needing to tap in to figure out what they're going to do financially within something and then whatever's getting, whatever you're having an awakening to or did in the last 24 hours take the initiative to bring something to fruition within a matter take a leading role to fix a situation if it's in your power to help somebody as well uh, you should do that you and I should do that what's this an awakening what, what else do you want to bring out for any given person thank you Okay, so that is a manifestation type of a card. Um, this is very skilled energy with the um, magician. This is somebody who can lay down a new foundation. Somebody who's gotten some type of a real clear, skillful awakening to something that either was created or um, something that needs to be communicated or was communicated around some type of an imagination um, here in the last 24 hours. Somebody somebody knows something. That's a very skilled energy to be able to communicate something. So a decision is here for some type of communication, having all that you need to produce something. Show me this uh, last 24 hours card here. It's going to be somebody in your family tree. There's somebody in the tree here as well some type of creativity is here and you've got all that you need to get it done what's this card here for so this could be a traveling card this is also some type of an investment card and an emotional investment and some, you know water is very creative as well the king of wands is at the bottom of the deck um, some type of he would get up take action within some ordeal being very spiritual um, this is leaving if you were stuck in a rut now you're having some type of a um, an awakening around some ordeal and, and have a some type of an aha moment of I can communicate something, I can create something, and you've just kind of just been here for a while in some older thing that was invested in. This is getting up and walking and going to get your ninth cup. So overall energy would be the ninth cup with the magician here. There's some type of finances that are around something here. Show me the finance card. Thank you. There's a lot around it. Um, well, the devil is here. There, there's some type of a defeat. So if there wasn't any restrictions with the devil, this is a real restrictive type of energy, hard working, getting to the top. If that's in the upright, um, industry stuff would also be here. This is somebody who is known in the public eye for some of you all. So if you're in some type of a, a business, because the, the devil card go back to business that would you know, be connected to being creative and being skilled and laying down those foundations uh, to get, you know, some type of a positive outcome where finances are concerned. I can read this this, this way. Uh, there's a plotting energy here as well. There's some type of restriction, though, in the now. Whatever this is with the devil. There's a defeat, though. Um, the defeat card also came out twice today in the other reading that I did not upload, it also was there. There's a warring energy around finances, uh, some type of a decision, being at a crossroad with, you know, whatever this awakening is. If somebody stole something and they manipulated an uh, ordeal with this magician and somebody had an awakening, okay, and so whatever this idea that was connected to their imagination and whatever had been created if somebody's now walking away somebody's getting defeated especially if there was a, a cheating and lying and a thievery type of energy with this devil around it okay um a boss is here a father figure is here an older person is here with this devil okay now somebody's at a crossroad um especially if somebody had an awakening and that thing was a manipulation and they didn't even create the thing and somebody knows uh, some type of ordeal. Somebody's trying to refrain somebody from moving on. Um, but somebody got up anyway to do it. So, some, but somebody's defeated here in a very big way. What's at the bottom of this deck? 
again, some, some type of intimate relationship is also here today. I've seen this card in the video that I did not upload as well. A decision, though. It's being a crossroad now because somebody already made a decision to walk away and now somebody's trying to contemplate because they got defeated within some ordeal because there's a lot of money here around something. Show me, and somebody, you know, regardless whatever's here, whatever's trying to restrain somebody where this finances is concerned, somebody is being told to take the leading role and to do something within the situation. Um, if it's in your power to help someone, if you know somebody's been manipulated and you've got that awakening here, then you need you need to fix it if it's in your power to do so. There's something very piercing here with the devil. So this is about being generous here. Okay, it's a generosity card. Somebody else did something where they need to have the skills put over their head because the devil is a predator around some ordeal that's been restraining somebody else from their finances, and that's here. Okay, but this is about being generous. Uh, work is here. That that's eight pentacles. And even if you've got the secretly exchanged something, there's decisions, decisions, and then we've just seen the lovers card twice. Decisions around something. The King of Cups also showed himself today, as well. Give me another one, please, on this leading rule. What else do you want to bring out here for the next 24 hours? You hold on, thank you. Something inspirational is here. Um, the torch, I always bring it out in the runes, goes back to something uh, connected to um, law, which we do have the legal scales here as well. This is justice assured on something. Um, there, there's some type of real inspiration. This also is a fortune card as well. You know, just give thanks. For, if somebody manipulated something and in the now somebody got defeated and you were the one that got taken advantage of, somebody's defeated, somebody getting some type of skills over their head and there's generosity and some type of a justice assured then would be here. Um, there was something sexual around an ordeal, then it's here. And somebody's getting defeated, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Let's put somebody else at a defeat. Now what do I do type of energy? This person needs to go down, man. Um, we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Business is here. Some type of business ordeal is here. This is uh, wisdom. This is analyzation. This is healing something. This is a physician. we got two physicians out here uh, within some matter. Okay, this is, um, spirituality is really big then here as well. All that would go back to some type of spirituality. If somebody's in the occult and has done some stupid, then I guess for some people they did. Uh, let's see what's going on. That, that's a judgment. That's also a judge. Somebody needs to put a judgment on something. And in the now, there is, because there's some type of uh, defeat here. Some something sour has been here. Well, because somebody apparently has some type of an awakening to some manipulation, something filthy. Somebody's been trying to kick somebody down, store them in clay. If you are new, this is the Tet in the Hebrew. This is the snake in the basket. This is the old serpent, the devil, the snake. And the dragon is here with the stupid devil. Okay, so somebody is just devilish. Uh, within something that they manipulated, said they possibly created, and some imagination back here caused somebody to have to walk away to get a victory, okay, to, to defeat the stupid nastiness. There's something sour that's been here. So Jehovah's in his holy temple, and Jehovah's throne is in heaven. People in his eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Jehovah try, um, tries the righteous also, but the wicked in him that loves violence his soul hates somebody loves violence here somebody's a manipulator okay uh somebody's trying to catch somebody up in a net and store them down in clay and you hates that and so you stated today that he was going to get up and fight for somebody because something is very sour out here and so people who like violence we want those people out of the earth and he goes on and he speaks how he is going to rain down this also goes back to the rain imagine that um, he will rain down fire and brimstone on these people that have caused some stupidness. Somebody has um, scales over their head for something that they've done. Somebody also has the key to somebody's heart. So for some people, there, there's been love issues around some matter. Because we've seen the lover's card there as well. Love can build a bridge. Okay, Somebody got caught up in some stuff and there's a bunch of people actually that has 
today has come out in my readings that got caught up in some filthy around some stupid idiot that's done something okay very skillfully very manipulative uh, within whatever they created out of their own freakish imagination and stole something from somebody else and it's it's really caused a big freaking problem and only love can build a bridge okay thank you Yehovah. take the leading role and do something uh, give it an account to whatever's been sour whatever has been around some filthy nasty beast of a person that's tried to do some stupid that's hateful and hate that evil just as much as Yehovah hates that the soul that person and give an account given a report to an issue is here somebody needs to somebody been drunk on love and somebody got ghosted within some matter or well, because somebody been restrictive because somebody probably was jealous of something that's happened righteous lips are the delight of kings and they that love him will speak right again given some type of an account Okay, let this fire and brimstone come on down the stupid devil energy and get them out. Okay, laughter will do good like a medicine. Some people have been restricted and uh, have not laughed for quite some time. It's not right. But we are seeing a deceit today, so that's great. Everything stolen will be brought back to the person that it got stolen from. So we have a divine gift that is here. This is the Gibo, the letter G. It looks like an X. Some people are dealing with their X involved in some stupidness, okay? Because um, the, the devil card can go back to X's and divorces and stuff like that, okay? So whatever this is, somebody has been dealing with their ex but there's a divine gift here this also goes back to hospitality and we have generosity here as well okay somebody plotted something or trying to plot something even in the now because the devil's still appearing here even though he's defeated there's a lot of money around something somebody is real sour and they love violence and somebody needs to give an account and be upright in their speech okay and let love build some type of a bridge within some matter okay um, this goes back to talent. So if you're dealing with the industry, then you are. We've got somebody very skilled here that's in the public eye uh, that's done something. But this is poverty and crisis for those who are undeserving. And the devil's undeserving. There's a freak out here. There's somebody's filthy and nasty around some type of an energy. Okay? Let me take from this deck. He's getting just uh, exposed today because Jehovah said he was warring. It's time for this craziness to stop it. This freak needs to go away. They're filthy. Let them stay filthy still and go right down to the pit of hell and burn. Take the torch and burn this idiot. That's done some nasty stealing, killing, destroying, piercing predator energy. Still in the now. How can I do something? Because I'm at a crossroad and I got defeated. Well, you can't do nothing because somebody needs to get up and give some type of a, an account to something that they know about. And you will be released if you got caught up in something. You hope it will save you through that thing. The person who started the stupid nasty um, be the one that goes to, to jail. Okay, this is some type of an offer. Again, we have generosity here. Um, being uh, of a willing heart and, and giving some type of honor around some ordeal. Everybody knows something because Jehovah's brought something to the surface. Well, that's, that's great. Thank you, Jehovah. Somebody is guilty. Yes, somebody is guilty. The devil's guilty. He's a freak. Thank you, Jehovah, for exposing this devil. This is I use. And somebody's analyzed and knows that somebody got used in a very hard way, okay? Somebody dealing with somebody's got um, imagination problems and uh, because they're, they're just hardcore, I like to just sit here and contemplate wickedness. And that ain't okay. Somebody filthy out here. They, they stole some stuff. 
okay? There is a bouquet here. We do have gifts and things like that. We have a divine type of gift here as well. The sun is here. This is somebody who is in the public eye. For some of you all, this is the industry, okay? Because this goes back to fame and glory with the sun. It's also governmental things going down as well. So if you're dealing with a judge or a lawyer or something like that, there's something governmental out here then with the sun as well. This is a forcible overthrow in the uh, Hebrew. It does represent um, a, a bright future. So, you know, so somebody is, you know, going to have their vitality back. And there's a victory with the sun when it comes out. There's some type of insights right up in your face. There's love and romance out here as well. Some people dealing with the real jerk of, of, of an ex that's been trying to restrict you from some type of uh, new family tree. Uh, within some matter, then I guess I could read the energy that way as well. We've got children involved in some stuff. This also goes back to maybe somebody you went to high school with or, uh, you know, your sibling could be here with this child card. Or Again, we've got baby mama wars or baby daddy wars going on for some of you all. Then it's here. It's also somebody who's got a childlike mind. Okay, so somebody's childish and they've got a net in their hand. This is a snake in the basket trying to catch somebody up in a net. This child... Or this person's got a childlike mind. They're they're filthy. They, we got death and life around this person. We also have a letter here, and this goes back to news or a notice or some type of a message. Again, speaking healing words, giving an account, being upright in your speech. Okay, love building a bridge because some type of stupid freak is here and they're sour in what they do, and giving some type of honor here where honor is due because somebody got stolen from within some matter. This is also a reward uh, as well. And so there's just some type of communication. We had a postal worker uh, that came out in my other reading today as well. So whatever that means. We have the dog here. This is ab uh, about friendship, loyalty, companion, uh, being close and faithful and friendly and trustworthy and stuff like that. And so somebody is not been protecting something, then I guess for some people that, that would be the case. But this is a positive card. If it's in the upright, this would be somebody who would be a friend. They would be uh, somebody who would be trustworthy trustworthy and reliable and would protect something. This is a happy card in the upright. Otherwise, uh, you're dealing with maybe, maybe somebody's dog is prevalent within some matter. Um, that can go back to restrictive energy, Jezebel type of stuff. But the dogs eat her in the end. Okay, somebody is unworthy and they are worthy of fire and brimstone coming down on them because they're violent. And they love violence. Okay, and they like to steal and they like to kill and they like to be stupid and they're nasty. And so, uh, whatever this is, somebody needs to be protective and to do something and put some type of scales over somebody's head because somebody is guilty of something here. Okay? All right, people, this is what comes out until next time. Shalom.